My name is Jackie Perkins and I'm a letter cutter. This means that I carve inscriptions into stone and wood. I work mainly in a traditional way, meaning that I design and draw out my inscriptions by hand with a pencil, and I carve by hand using a hammer and chisel. I like to think this gives every piece a human touch, and it for sure makes every piece unique. I work from my dusty studio here in a former 18th century stable block in Dalkeith. This piece is destined for an exhibition at the Lettering Arts Trust Gallery in Suffolk, entitled New Beginnings. I chose a quote by John Muir, who was a pioneer of the nature conservation movement in America, and who was born just up the road in Dunbar. I've been drawn to many of his words over the lockdown period, but I settled on this one, which reminds us that this grand show is eternal and it's always sunrise somewhere. I was drawn to the positivity of it, the idea that the world moves in so many eternal cycles. For every dark night, there will be light again and at any given time, there is a brand new day beginning somewhere in the world. This feels especially relevant just now with the massive uncertainty and anxiety we've all felt over the last few months, and that remains still. For me, it just felt good to immerse myself in a carving that encouraged me to feel optimistic and excited about all the future possibilities. I knew that I wanted to design a lightweight, informal, sans-serif letter form with a bit of an organic feel. I also wanted it to be bold and colourful, yet not too over the top. Same with the gold leaf. I wanted to add a bit of sparkle to the sunlight, but not go too bling. I find that the real challenge is in finding a good balance between all of these things. I love how it's so often possible to see the personality of a letter cutter or a stone carver in their work. I think it's actually very difficult for an artist not to express themselves in their designs, whether in their level of refinement, from very rustic to highly polished, the boldness of their design or the character of their letter forms. I can definitely see a lot of myself in this piece. I chose to use a piece of limestone and to put a simple oak frame around it, which I think gives a nice contrast. The wood was sourced locally from the Scottish borders. Who knows, possibly even from the very woodlands where John Muir played as a young boy.